In this video, we're going to talk about the principle of balance. Balance is a way of combining elements to add a feeling of equilibrium or stability to a work of art. Basically what it means is if you were to give something visually a physical weight, there is some kind of balance, whether it be between objects uh, or between an object and the space around it. So the f there are three types of balance, the first being formal balance, or you also will hear it as symmetrical balance. It's a design that's the same on both sides of an imaginary line. You can also think of it as being similar to mirror image or being mirror image. <clears throat> In this example, <coughs> fuck. <sighs> Three, two, one. In this video, we're going to talk about the principle of balance. Balance is a way of combining elements to add a feeling with equilibrium or stability to a work of art. While this could be a physical balance, it can also be a visual balance where you give the visual objects in a piece this a weight that ends up being uh, balanced out. The first type of balance is formal balance, also known as symmetrical balance. And this is a, is a design that's the same on both sides of an imaginary line, similar to mirror image. In the example you see here, I have the exact same objects on either side of that center line. Mirror image would be similar to triangles where the points are pointed in towards that red line. Um, either way, it has a formal balance. I can fold it in half and I have the same thing on both sides. Informal balance, also known as asymmetrical balance, is a design or a piece where the objects on either side of that imaginary center line seem to have the same visual weight, but they're not the same object. This can also easily be thought of as not having balance, but in all technicality it does, and I'll explain why in a moment. So in this image here, if I put that red line down the center again, I have circles on one side, squares on the other. They are obviously not the same on either side, uh, and you can uh, say that there's really not balance because one side is not the same as the other. It can also be a balance between positive and negative space, and that's what I mean by there is still a balance here, um, but it looks like it's out of balance because that windmill is off to one side. If I draw a center line through that picture, Everything that's taken up on the left side by the windmill is balanced by the fact that there isn't a windmill on the right. So the negative space on the right of that line balances off the positive space of the windmill on the left. I know that sounds a little confusing, but it's the way that we determine that there is still a balance there. Radial balance is a design that has different objects that appear to be arranged around a central point. It also needs to have formal balance in three or more directions, by my definition, because things like a spiral can't be split up and have the same amount of lines and spaces on either side of that line. Um, while it emanates from the central point, it's actually an asymmetrical balance rather than a radial. So in this example, you see a group of circles that are arranged around the center of the big circle in the center. And if I draw vertical red lines and diagonal red lines, I can actually divide this space in four different directions and it's still formally balanced no matter which of those lines I fold the design on. For my class and my definition, if I ask or you say you want to do something that's radially designed, it must meet both of those above criteria.